Capitalists and wage slavery. Capital is the means of production. A car factory, and let's treat a car factory like it's one singular thing for now, uh, is a capital good because it produces a consumer good, something that consumers will buy. What is a capital good and what is a consumer's good is subjective. For example, a person wearing shoes to work. Did he buy those shoes for their utility in and of themselves, or did he buy those shoes as a piece of work equipment to help him produce things? So there can be some ambiguous cases, but let's simplify for analysis and just deal with the factory producing cards and say that a factory is nothing more than a capital good. It is not a consumer good in any way. Um, so for some reason, the capitalist has acquired a factory. Perhaps he bought it after receiving a loan from the bank, which needs to be paid back, in which case the, uh, the bank is similar to the weapon maker in the previous, previous example, right? And the capitalist is like the weapon maker when compared to the laborers. Perhaps he bought the factory with his own funds. Uh, the capitalist then hires the workers to work in the factory, however he acquired the factory. The workers get paid some wage, be it an absolute wage, a percentage of the sales, or a mixture of both, right? You, we'll pay you uh, an, an hourly wage, but we'll also pay you on top of that, you know, commission on, on sales, or, or however it's done. There's lots of ways to pay people. This wage is much less than the value of that which is produced from the factory. And this is because the product was made with other resources, which had to be bought, and was made in a factory, which costs money to operate. The workers get a wage, uh, but there may also be profit. And profit is often viewed as exploitative. Um, and many workers, um, many people wonder why the capitalist is able to take uh, a bunch of money off the top. Indeed, why is he? Why is the capitalist able to take money off the top uh, from the factory? And why do chemical engineers get paid so much? The answer is both the capitalist and the chemical engineer are providing a service. The capitalist is taking a big risk and or uh, deferring consumption by opening a car factory. And he thinks, he thinks, he knows no more enough uh, about consumer demand that isn't being satisfied than everyone else. And he's confident enough that he's willing to take some pretty big risks uh, on this venture. That is, he thinks he has an idea for a cool new car that everyone is going to want to buy. Now, if you think this is a bunch of crap and that the capitalist is not providing a service, cool beans, fine. Start a cooperative a worker-run business, or a non-hierarchical firm. If that mode of production is able to produce cars that people will buy, um, then workers should get together, pony up the money to, for a car factory, and or get a loan from a bank and start making the cars. That this is not happening suggests to me that the capitalist, sometimes called the entrepreneur, is indeed providing a service and or that there is some state intervention preventing uh, worker-run factories. Now, that service that the capitalist is providing is planning the structure of production. If he is a crappy planner, his firm will fail and he'll lose everything and maybe more. Right? That capitalists slash entrepreneurs come into existence in free human interaction is evidence that they, that they do provide some service. And they certainly are not viewed, <laughs> as they are certainly not viewed with like the same reverence of as the state, so they're certainly not coming into existence because they're just so, so loved. Right? That, that was not the case throughout history. What's more is that the capitalist competes with other capitalists, and if he is paying himself more than other capitalists are paying themselves, then his firms will suffer. And if all capitalists and all firms raise their bonuses together uh, in order to like stop competing with each other, but they raise their bonuses together and, and, and lower wages together and, and, and try to and, and try to you know not compete with each other so they can you know screw the workers, then like a sword of Damocles, the banks can provide funds for upstarts who are willing to pay themselves peanuts uh, in order to smash this new cartel. And the more difficult to predict an industry is, the more capitalists there will be. And that is why when one thinks of cooperatives, they think of farms because food is always in demand to some ex extent and so it's a little bit easier to, to predict than a brand new industry right and older more settled industries um, should have fewer capitalists um, they should have uh, but the but the reason they don't is because of uh, 
because older, more settled industries tend to have more political connections, can raise barriers to entry and can be and become artificially profitable. The capitalist on a free market is just a laborer, right? The capitalist is the first laborer. And just like any firm, there is a wage scale. The labor that is more valuable tends to be paid higher than the labor that is less valuable to the extent that the firm can calculate the value of labor. For example, chemical engineers tend to be paid more than janitors. And if the labor of the capitalist, that is coordinating the firm, is valuable, then he will be able to earn a high wage for himself. And the wage for the capitalist is called profits. If it is not, uh, then the payment of the capitalist will become smaller until the capitalist becomes just, just like a part-time capitalist or he is just bought out by the workers. Right? And this buyout reflects the fact that the capitalist acquired the capital in the first place and then he earned profits through his stewardship. And so this buyout, this buying out the capitalist, this is just. right? Be, like, because the capital, through his labor, earned all this that he the, all that he's being bought out for that said the current state of affairs within the claim borders of just about every state on the planet is not a free market uh, there are all sorts of ways that capitalists lobby the state to maintain their fortunes without taking any risks